Hey gorgeous ghouls, how's everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic and you're ready for a very small haul from Nasty Gal. However, I will show you how I'm going to style one of the dresses, which kind of filters over into the other dresses as well. So if you want to see what I got, you know the drill, stick around. All right, y'all, I'm so professional. I have dresses everywhere here. Today, I decided to do a, well, I was gonna record a whole bunch of things and just get them done like I've been doing, but this time I decided that since I had a couple of cottage core dresses and more, I don't know, not goth style or alternative, that I would show you how I style at least one of those because one of them I love and, well, two of them I love. Out of the three, two of them are good. Now, let me just say this. Nasty Gal is, excuse me, sinus crap. Um, Nasty Gal is a store, a sister store, whatever, or part of Boohoo. And I must, and I want to say that um, I do think the dress, all the dresses I got are consistent with the sizing, which I purchased a UK 22 and that's a US 18. So, but let me preference that with these are all smocked top dresses, so they have stretch anyway. So, but none of them were too tight in the arms like the Boohoo dresses were. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but I really wish they'd get it figured out. Now, another thing about the order. I hope I remember, I'll try to remember while I'm editing this, to put in a picture of the dress I actually made the order for. I didn't get that dress. They sent me four dresses. I had ordered four dresses. I opened up, dumped the bag out, and one of the bags had leopard print in it. I'm like, I didn't order anything leopard print this time. So I looked at the bag. No, the bag said purple or lilac, um, plaid or gink, I think it was plaid, dress, blah, 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 smock dress. But inside of it was something leopard. It was sealed and everything. So I was like, okay, somebody messed up somewhere down the line. So I contacted them and they immediately sent me a return um, label and everything with the shipping, all that. I didn't have to pay for anything and they refunded me the money. However, I probably wouldn't have bought any of these other ones if it wasn't for that first dress because that's the one I really love. Now I will say I am glad I have this right here, the black one, which we'll see I think it's the last dress. I'm pretty sure it's the last dress. That's why I'm still wearing it. Duh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's just get into this now because what I want to do is I really love cottage core. And I love the, not necessarily, you know, the girliness, yeah, but I love that it's lots of um, floral prints and things, which I love flowers. I love nature. I am a. I don't know. I am a, if you want to say like a hippie goth, how they say some people, it's like, I love, I'm a tree hugger. I am so, nature is divine. So I really love being able to wear these cutesy dresses and, but I still want to make them mine in more of a, a more spooky aesthetic, something a little darker, something a little edgy. So I show you how I did that and I will show it in just a moment. So let's just get on to a first time. First dress here is this purple one. It's a very light lilac color. Very nice, pretty floral pattern. Smocked and has this little tie here. And it's like a silky fabric. I don't know. It's very silky feeling. The top layer is very see-through, but it's like silk. It's so soft. It feels like a silk scarf. It's very nice. Let me see if I can see what it's made of. What's it made of? Mm. I don't see the label, which of course I could have had this all done beforehand or I could look it up on the site. And I'm not seeing one inside here. Whoop, whoop, there it is. All right. This is, okay, it's not telling me. Sorry guys, this is the fire label. I love it says keep away from fire. I love these labels. I mean, these aren't nearly as bad as the Boohoo. There's there another company too that has them super long. Like, I mean, they'll be like super long. 
keep out of fire. No, I thought I'd go dance in the fire with my really frilly dress. Come on now. Anyway, now I'm going to turn on the video that I have, which will play up here, but I want to be able to talk about it while, so I know where I'm at when I'm talking. So yeah, it's, it's very nice. I don't know there's really much to say here. There's a ruffle here on the bottom right here. And like I said, it's so silky and soft. It is, it fits like a glove too. It fits perfectly. It's like it was made for my body. Now, oh, this tie here is coming undone. Not that that matters, but it's very slick fabric. So I have a feeling this will not stay tied very much. And these were not super tight. I don't understand why Boohoo couldn't get that straight, even though they're the same kind of company. And like I said, this is a UK 22 US 18. And here I am showing everything in the video and I'm trying to get on to what I was doing. But yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I wish you could just feel how soft it is. It is just gorgeous. It is a beautiful dress. Now you might be saying, okay, but how is this any kind of alternative or anything? Well, it's not. But here we go with this video. Let me get to the video because I have some pictures first. Uh, will I ever get to it? No. There it is. All right. Yeah, because I like it a lot. Now I have on the same collar. I just kept it on for the rest of the stuff. I believe I got this from AliExpress. This is Shein and this is from Evil Pawn Jewelry. Love her stuff. Highly recommend it. Now, how I decided I would wear this was with a, what is that cardigan from? I don't remember where that cardigan's from off the top of my head. Hell Bunny, I believe. So there's that. I topped it off, but it was super hot. So of course I went and added the, um, as a Killstar belt. That's right, horns high. And the boots were from Shein. The ones I hauled a little ways back, not too long ago. But a couple of hauls back of Shein. But yeah, so that's how I would wear it if I was going out somewhere doing something. Now around the house, I'll probably just throw it on and that's going to be that. Maybe a couple little necklaces, you know. But I'm not going to be all fancy just walking around the house and all. But I do have a long black cover-up that I think that's what I'll wear in the winter time over it. So like a duster. So yeah. So there's that dress, and that didn't really work really well on me going over the video in that because it kind of went by. But anyway, seven minutes in, and I'm still talking about the first dress. Let's move on. And here we have the second dress. I'm not even going to look at those videos, and I'm just going to go with what I remember because I only filmed one video a day. This one, I will say, this is also the same, isn't it? UK 22, US 18, yeah. But as you can see in the video, the back is very wrinkly because it just wants to fall down more because it is, look at that. Ah, I could stretch that forever. It is huge. Now, it's only attached with this, which these will be coming off because they hang really droopy because they aren't too tight. And also, it has two layers here. The lining, the yellow. Okay, this is supposed to be green, first of all. This is supposed to be sage green. Can somebody please tell me how this is sage green? I probably have something sage green over here somewhere, but this looks more yellow to me. So, whatever. And to me, that looks yellow. Whatever. So, when I opened up, I was kind of sad about that. I was like, I wanted it to be like a really light sage green, really pretty, um, like plant color, you know what I'm trying to say? So... This is sheer, the over part sheer, which this is sheer. Well, obviously, it's the same fabric. But what I'm trying to get at is it doesn't look the same. I don't know if you see in the video, but the lining makes it look this way, darker. But then when you see it like this, with your skin color through it, it looks like it doesn't go together. So I don't really like that, so I'm probably going to, more than like, more likely than not, and it's already looking like it's pulling right there. I'm just gonna clip those threads, and then to make it a little bit smaller inside, on the sides here, I'm gonna kind of go zip up the side with my serger. So yeah, it is nice and flowy. I don't know; it's kind of got a crepey kind of look to the. I don't know if you can see that with the shadows on it, but so yeah. 
I wasn't too happy with the color and then the sleeves are kind of dumpy looking and yeah so that was not my favorite now the one I have on I have it on so we'll just talk about it the video has the these are tie straps so you can adjust them to wherever you need them to be now the top here let me put this down put my hand right in the middle of the camera just so you can see right here this here is not as stretchy as the others. It fits really nice. It fits more like the purple does. It wasn't as baggy in the back or anything. Now the fabric, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I show it in the video there. It's thicker. It's like a heavy linen almost. It's very heavyweight. So if like right now i am hot in it it is very warm even though it's like this but it'll be really nice for layering at, during the winter time so yeah i just got sidetracked i was like what is that noise buddy wants in forgot he was outside poor thing i'm sorry guys um and i keep saying um anyway it's got that peplum down underneath the bust there after the smocking and then it's just a regular old skirt after that but it is very thick when i pulled that out, i was like whoa this is heavy weight this is not light and flowy at all but it is very nice fabric i mean it feels quality like it's going to last for a very long time because of the quality of the fabric i am really impressed with that matter of fact i don't know if it'll tell me in here it didn't then what does it say 100 percent cotton Ooh, i hope it doesn't shrink but yeah, it's very, very heavy. Just holding it up, it's not like these are very light and flowy and like silky and they lay a certain way. This one's much more, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. But either way, what I was trying to make a point with the purple dress is that even though I buy these things that are like this, I do fix them up into, like if we were to go out to eat or something, I would probably wear something like this, might have a different choker on or something, I guess. I might have went a little extreme on the choker just to show you that you can still buy these things. You don't have to be 100% wearing black 24 seconds, even though that is the best color ever. You can still rock your style with mainstream things or however you want to put it. Like, let's say if you, a lot of people can't afford some of these. I can't afford a lot of these things, so, or a lot of the... I can't buy a lot of Killstar because I can't afford that. And honestly, for the price, sometimes the quality is not where you'd want it to be. So, yeah. I have a thought here in my head. So, like, let's say that you go to... I just hit the tripod, sorry. Go to Goodwill or go to the thrift store or even a Walmart or anywhere. Like, buy from Shein. You can buy pieces that really speak to you, that you say, oh, that's really pretty, but it's not in black. So what? Or, you know what? You could actually dye it black if it's cotton. Now, polyester, that's a problem with Shein, though. You might not be able to. But if it's cotton or a natural fabric, it will take the dye. None of the plastic fabrics, though, like polyester and whatnot. But I am burning up, and I hope you're not seeing all this sweat here. I think you are, probably. I didn't realize it was that sweaty. Oh, and if y'all hear anything in the background, Jason's talking with his dad. So, and he's got a big voice. Not his dad, him. So, yeah. But I think I'm going to add a blooper at the end here. And I'm telling you this now so that when I'm doing the editing, I'll remember to put the blooper in. So, at the very end, watch the blooper if you want to, if you don't. So, anyway, I'm going to close this video out. My whole main point, like I said, for this was cottage core dresses, making them more my style. But I do still like the cottage core dress itself, by itself. But I prefer it with the accessories that are more me. So, that's the point. You can do different things. You don't have to stick to some sort of construct, some kind of, what is it? The gatekeepers of God. Oh, no, you can't wear it. It's not black enough. You know what? Who cares? You wear what you want to wear, and your attitude should speak 
loudly through what you wear. I, I don't know if I make any sense. Anyway, show your style through your clothes, but you don't have to only wear black, even though black is the best color that ever was. Anyway, that's beside the point. And I'm rambling again, and we're at 15 minutes. Yay, I did it again. <laughs> so, yeah, let's wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. If not, I don't want a thumbs down because if you watched it this far, what was the point? Just give me a thumbs down. You probably already done that, so you're not even watching this part. Whatever. So remember to subscribe. And by the way, thank you to everybody. I got over a thousand subscribers. Yay! So yeah, I was very, very happy about that. So some people that might not be able, you know, there's huge account, um, YouTube channels out there and they have so much more, but I'm just an old woman trying to tell you what I think and feel and show you clothes I like. So I'm pretty surprised that I've gotten a thousand subscribers plus now. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't already, please do so. And let's see, next week, what are we going to do next week? Either Romwe or Shein, same company. But we'll see. I also have a possible very interesting collab coming up for October. So if you want to see that, subscribe, get the notification bell there, hit that thing, let them know. They'll tell you whenever I upload stuff, which I try to do Wednesdays, but every now and then I get a little different. You know, I just decide it needs to come out early or whatever. Neighbor's dog's barking. Sorry about that. If you can hear it. And I'll let y'all go now. Just remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. And don't let anyone take away your shine. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye. Hi, gorgeous ghouls. Oh, I just kicked the dang tripod again. Man, I am such a professional. But we already knew that, right? So, and I think I just did it again. I could restart this, but once again... I'm not a professional. I'm going to restart this. This is a stupid.